Hey, this is James from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. You're welcome watching Trucker Josh Vlogs with Diesel. Good morning, everybody. Time to bring this truck into the shop. Got to get this hood release cable switched out today. And while the shop is working on that, I'm going into Winnipeg with Britt. She's meeting me at the shop. And uh, I got to go for some, uh, like some tests and stuff. It's our fertility doctor, so I got to go there and do my thing. Make sure everything's working right. <laughs> but uh, Britt is meeting me at the shop. I'm gonna hop in her vehicle and we gotta run into Winnipeg. And I got a, a doctor's appointment today. I'll go in there and speak to the good doc. And other than that, I think I'm gonna, got a couple more errands to run around. So it's just gonna be a running around kind of day, but I figured I'd take you guys with me. In the wife mobile at Deacon's Corner, Petro Pass. Had to make a little pit stop for the wife. I think I've got a going to. Yeah, we're on my way to my appointment. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It shouldn't take too long. There it is. We'll be in there next month. I haven't told the vlog yet. Oh. That's what we're doing for our anniversary. We're, uh, we got front row seats to Cirque du Soleil here. It's been on my bucket list for about 15 years, so here it is. It's the Amaluna show? Amaluna? Amaluna? I don't know. It's like a pretty small tent. I, I thought it would be bigger than that. Yeah, the Cavalia tent was bigger, wasn't it? I don't know. Um, it was yellow or orange last time, wasn't it? No, it was just white. Oh, now it's fancy. Now it's got swirls. We got the fancy circus in town. Bit of a rainy day, but man, fall is here, everybody. Fall is here. Look at these, all these leaves. Half of them have fallen already. This was so thick, remember that? Oh, you guys got a, a water driblet. Pardon me. It's raining very lightly. Yeah, all this stuff is poking out again. Uh, one of these years, we're gonna have to tow this out of here. So much to do all the time. So much to do, we do plan on getting all this deadfall out of here as soon as possible, it's just there's a been so many other projects that have been at the forefront this summer it was the roof we got that done so maybe we can get some of this done next summer or maybe this fall yet who knows i'd like to get it done in springtime before everything grows and it'd be a lot easier to get all of it out of there then all this everything all this dead stuff chop it up cut it up split it up use it for firewood well, the creek has gone down a little bit. It's still pretty high. It's still just roaring right over that beaver dam. You can tell it's making a bit more of a, a rapid there than before, but most of it's been washed away. This here got washed away. This is way wider. It's just eroded right out from all the water. I have a feeling that the beaver's starting a new dam. A little further up the creek there. Give you guys a look at it and look at that. There was a beaver dam there. Then we got all that rain. <laughs> they got a little bit of renovations to do now. I think he might have just started a new one over here. Come check this thing out. A little over here. Can you see those logs across the creek over there already? I don't know if it's actually a new dam. But, unless if this wood seemed to just uh, magically place itself exactly right across the creek right here. Like, look at this, all this flattened grass. Diesel, excuse me. Excuse me, you're on the trail, man. This is my trail. Look at this here. You think that just happened by chance, that those logs got laid across the creek like that? That would have been really strange for that to happen on its own. The other dam's down there. 
Pretty sure they started a new one here. For crying out loud, guys. Like, <laughs> how many dams do you need? Right, Diesel? Crazy beavers. How about you, Chevy? What do you think? I think they've taken enough. Wonder how many there are. Well, good morning, everybody. It's morning once again. And I know this vlog has sort of been all over the place because I filmed a little bit yesterday, filmed a little bit the day before. Now we're filming a little bit here today. We're sort of making one video of my time at home here. Uh, I went to uh, pay for the repairs on my truck yesterday. I was very pleased that it wasn't nearly as expensive as I thought it might be. That was a nice surprise. Uh, got a bunch of errands done. Got my passport all done. What else did I do? Nah, all kinds of stuff. All kinds of, you guys don't care. You guys don't care. So we're enjoying another day at home. Today when I'm filming this is Saturday. It's Saturday morning right now. I got up before Brett and so I took the big guys with me out here for a walk just to get them out of the house because it's it's hard to sleep when they're awake because they, you know, like to wrestle a lot. And instead of just telling them to sit down and be quiet, I figured we'd just go outside and we can be rowdy out here. So we came down to the creek here to check out our creek situation and if you've been following my videos lately uh, you'll notice or you'll remember how I talked about how this creek got a lot bigger lately that's the beaver dam right there that's uh, the creek's gone down a little bit so you can see the beaver dam sort of poking up a little bit more than it was before but this part here has uh, fallen into the creek eventually I think it's gonna erode right through right through this and connect with our pond which I'd be okay with because this is supposed to be a swimming pond, right? Uh, but I've got to drag the bottom out yet. And I've also got to get a water pump so I can pump water from the creek over this into here so that it raises the levels a little bit, right? But uh, it's supposed to be a swimming pond. But eventually, I think this creek is going to just feed right into it. Whoa, it almost fell. Yikes. Don't want to fall in the water now. <laughs> Uh, but the reason that would be good is then it would keep this water moving and fresh. There would always be a supply of fresh water into here and this water wouldn't get uh, stagnant or you know, full of algae and stuff. I keep it moving. It's just then I can't control how high it is. Unless if we dam the river further down there. I gotta talk to my beaver friends here and uh, get them to build their dam over there then so that the this part of the creek rises and feeds into my pond which makes the pond rise. And then you know they get a little habitat, I get a little swimming hole everybody's happy right i wouldn't mind if they helped me out with that so i don't mind the beavers because you know as long as you don't like jump on them or step on their tail they're not really going to bother you as soon as they see you or hear you they're going to take off and go hide in their den so i mean if they want to hang out around here as soon as we come out to swim in the swimming hole they're going to take off anyway so i'd rather them not be around here but if they're going to be around here we may as well work together right so this is their last big dam that they had here uh, that's been washed away. Where's my boys? Diesel, Chevy. Oh, you're on that side of the pond there? I see you. Okay, all good guys. Just wanted to know where you were. So that's been completely washed away pretty much right there, completely. They're gonna have to completely rebuild that, which I'm not really happy about because now they've got to take down more of our bush. Mm. Maybe they moved on, I don't know, but I have a feeling that they, like I showed you in the last clip or earlier, I don't know if that was in today's vlog or yesterday's, I don't know where, where I put that, but there's uh, something new being constructed over here. Come on, Chef. In a sec, let us go into the, into the bush here. I should probably mow this down next year, at least this little pathway. See this here? I don't know, it hasn't gotten any bigger. But uh, I don't know if that was put there naturally. It doesn't look like it. it. looks like a beaver did that. Not a very good dam. It's just an amateur. I've seen a lot better than that. Beaver's got some, some experience to gain, I guess. Probably a baby beaver, just learning. Way too many beavers. This is Canada, after all. You know the beaver is our national animal? You know in the US, it's the eagle. The mighty eagle swoops down on its prey. Canada, we're the beaver. That's our national animal, so. And they're everywhere, they're everywhere. Every little creek has beavers in it. I don't know where their den is, but uh, somewhere around here. 
I got a little walking path sort of like this that I've beat down that goes all the way around way out there but eh. country life right like I said before in past videos they got to do what they got to do I got to do what I got to do we're both sort of you know pushing each other around for territory here they don't recognize my right that the Queen's given me to this land uh, so I don't recognize their right to it either. <laughs> so we're in a little bit of a battle for territory here, but so far we're uh, coexisting at the moment. As long as they stop taking, like they took down a huge tree over there again. As long as they, they, I wish they would just build a dam and just, you know, maintain that one, but they always build it and then it gets destroyed. Then they got to build another one, gets destroyed, got to build another one. And meanwhile, like those tall trees back there, like one, once before it used to come all the way up to the creek here, but now, the beavers have cleared it all the way to there. And I see, I see my wife. She's come out of the cave. She's awake. Hey, Diesel, mom's out here. Diesel, come here, come back here. Come on, Chevy. My wife has awakened. Diesel. Come on. Oh, he's way over there. He's coming. Frank. Frankie. Big Frank. What are you doing, buddy? Wiener. They got everybody out here now. <laughs> you sleep good? Yeah. I was not prepared to be on film. <laughs> Guess we'll catch up with you guys later. Hey, this is James from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs with Diesel. Oh.